Hi guys, and thanks for watching again. Today I will be showing you how to program this 56 LED spherical rotation and DIY kit or anything uh, <laughs> yourself by using a PC with Windows 10, Windows 7 or anything. I'm using Windows 10 and uh, it, programming was actually very easy, um, but there are some uh, caveats which, which I, will, I will tell you about. The first thing is um, this thing of mine switches to error mode just when I, when I turn it on. I will show you that in a couple of minutes. When I turn it on, it displays the text I program, displays some images, and then it goes into error mode. Unless I pause it by pressing the play button over here. When I pause it, it works fine. Now, that's probably a fault in the processor over here, so I will try to contact the Chinese server and see if I can get a, uh, some information about what's going on on here, or replacements or anything, because in my case there was no manual. I've, uh, I had to look up the manual and programming software and instructions on the internet, which was very, very hard to find. I, I've, I've googled for hours and finally I came to uh, just one download at banggood.com where the information is. I will put a link in the description to the uh, Banggood software, instructions, manual, anything about this device. The second thing, which is a major problem on Windows 10, is this uh, uh, USB to TTL adapter. This one came with this kit, but I've got many of these because I ordered many kits already. And all these do exactly the same. They do not work on Windows 10. And there's a case where you can install an old driver and then it works just one time when you plug it in. But these are just a pain in the ass to get to work on Windows 10. So I bought this one from a Dutch shop. And now it does, I've had some luck with this in, in the past, but now it does exactly the same as this. It is recognized as the, as the prolific USB to TTL adapter. And Windows just tells that it does not work. Now, so I w went to eBay searching for all kinds of different USB to TTL adapters. And then I found this one. This one works fine. Out of the box, when I plug it in and Windows recognizes immediately and there is a new COM port available. It looks like this. And I will put a link in the description uh, to the eBay page. Uh, my experience is that they do expire in a, in a couple of weeks, but I'll do it anyway. It looks like this. It has six pins instead of four. And the top and the bottom one, the DTR and 3.3 volts, I do not use. But I use the other ones, the RX, the TX, the 5 volt and ground. And I've connected it like this. Here you can see how I've wired it. So the green and the blue ones are the 5 volts and the ground. And the gray and purple one are for the data transfer. And I've connected it exactly like this. And I hold it still. <laughs> I hope I can hold it still so you can pass it and see how I've connected it. So when I plug this in, in my PC, it starts doing this, which is perfectly fine. It goes into programming mode. Starting up the programming application is working fine and I can program my own text and own images in there. And that's what this video is about. Not about this faulty device. The programming works fine. And yeah. Uh, the case, like I said, mine is faulty. The, I, I suspect the processor being faulty. I suspect um, that there is a power issue because every time when there are multiple LEDs lighting at the same time, a lot, probably all of them, it, it goes into this weird error mode you've seen in my previous video. And at first I suspected the battery. I thought, ju just thought, well, if all the LEDs are lighting up, then the processor is probably getting not too much, not enough power, and then it just goes into this error mode. So I replaced the battery, measured it. Now it's fine, it's at three volts and the previous one was at 1.8, 2-ish volts. But it still does not work. So I changed power banks. I tried this bigger one, which just has a little bit more juice in it. And I've tried um, the, my Samsung adapter over here, which can deliver two amps at five volts, which is more than enough for this device. So I've tried everything measured the, the the coils the resistance and it all looks fine to me but if you guys have any idea what's going on on here uh, I'll sh oh, let me show you that i'm, I'm going to connect this in a few moments back again if 
you guys have any idea, this is this is the text I've programmed in here, and there it goes into this error mode. And now it it does not respond to anything anymore. So it looks like this, and yeah, I, I don't know what to do about it. If you guys have any idea what to do, let me know. <laughs> I would be very happy, but I'm also going to contact the seller, see if he has any information about what to do. Now, I'm going to switch to my computer screen right now and tell you how I think the program is working and what the Chinese characters means, mean, and then show you how to program it and uh, see that it works fine. So, there we go. Now, these are the contents of the folder, uh, of the, tar or the RAR file, uh, which you can download from the description from this video. And the first six over here are just new firmwares or anything which you can program into the processor uh, on, on the board. And you can use this tool to do that. But I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to show you how to program new text and new, new images on there, which you can find in this directory over here. PC software to change the word. And in this folder, the spinning ball photos are just lots and lots of uh, bitmap files which contain all kinds of images which you can use to try and program this, this sphere. Now, of course you can create your own bitmap files with, with anything, with Photoshop or GIMP or, or anything. And uh, the only thing you need to know is that they need to be 64 pixels in, in height and, and of course a black and white only. Now, that they need to be 64 pixels in height is, is feels weird to me because there are only 56 LEDs on there. Um, so, but that's not what I want to show you. It goes, this video is about this software over here in this folder, the PC software to change the word. Now, there's one EXA file over here. And before you run this program, I advise you to run this on a PC you do not use very often, a second PC or better even a virtual PC with, with uh, Windows 10 installed because it is Chinese software and yeah, it's very hard for me to find out if it is doing anything else than just allowing you to program the processor of the, the STC chip. So I'm not very confident uh, running Chinese software on my PC, but that's that's why uh, I chose this second PC, which I do not use very often. So here it is. I'll start it up and then we see this blank screen. When the serial adapter, the USB to serial adapter is working fine, you'll find a COM port over here. You need to select it. In my case, it's COM5. And this one is means, I believe, text or image. And this one is images and this one is text. I'll start with the text. I'll click, uh, oh, that's the program button, of course. I've not, no, not selected any text, so there's the error. I'll type in some text. Let me type in the exact uh, um, words I'll, which are overlay at the, at the bottom of this video. And that's very handy because the top one needs to be a little sm smaller than the bottom one, but I do not like this font very much. So I can change it with this ugly button over here. Let me switch to Arial, Bold, OK, and do that one more time with this button. Arial, Bold, OK. Now, let's program it. There we go. I've clicked it. There we saw just a little progress bar, and now it says OK. So, this is programmed as the main text right now. And now we switch to the images over here. And this is probably the browse button for images. So, I'll browse directly to the spinning ball photos directory over here and I don't know why Windows is not giving any previews of these these bitmap files over here but they, it normally does so I can look up what it is so I have no clue what I'm selecting right now uh, goodday.bmp sounds fine and let's find another one uh, oh to you good day to you uh, let's see, this is the select button, this is probably the delete button. Oh, there's, there's some previews. Oh, this is very ugly now, is it? Should, uh, I should replace with something else. This looks fine. Yes, it does. Remove this, probably the remove button, it is. 
a good day, and then we anything. And this again is probably the program button. Let's push it. There we go. Upload succeeded. So now I'll switch back to the normal camera view and see if the programming was any success. There we go. So now let's see if the programming was a great success. Remove the adapter. Plug in some power bank, some power. And there we go. Whoa. There we go. Where's the error mode? Now it doesn't go into error mode anymore. Oh, it's doing this. Ah, there we go. But I saw my name scrolling by. Turn it off. Let's see if I can hold it like this. Don't know if the camera is picking it up very well, but it is probably is. And the top is 2017. It's my name scrolling by. It's it's a mess. <laughs> I don't know what to make of this, but it somehow worked. And let me see what the images does. When I press the three button on this remote, it switches to images, and there we go directly into error mode again. That's too bad, actually. See if I can. That's what I what I, what I meant. When there are lots of LEDs lighting at the same time. Let me press the three button if it wants to. There we go. Lots of LEDs, error mode almost immediately. Now, I can turn it back on, then it probably goes, oh, and I broke the switch. Okay, I'll need to solder that, I'll be back in a moment. So the switch is repaired. Now, I need to start, oh, 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 oh. It starts doing this, I can pause it with the play button, I can play it again and pause it again, of course, when it is accepting comments, pause, there we go. And then go to 3, and there we can see the actual part of the image, and a good day. So, it is working fine, it, it, it has loaded two images over there, but as soon as I start it, I, I, I guess it goes into error mode. There we go. If you guys have any idea what's going on in here, please let me know. Um, now it is not responding to any comments anymore, but... Yeah, let me see what I can do about this, but the programming was just fine, so I guess when you do not have a faulty cube, when it is working fine, the program is act program is programming <laughs> is actually very easy, and I uh, hope you uh, can make this video to any good use. So, for now, thanks for watching.